in a recent Schumpeter column in The Economist, the discussion centered on the parallels between today's AI frenzy and past technological manias. As we stand on the brink of what could be a transformative era, the article raises a critical question. Are we witnessing a moment of creative destruction or simply the build-up of another speculative bubble? Recent market fluctuations, particularly in AI-driven stocks, suggest it might be a bit of both. Hello everyone and welcome back to Procurement in the Park. I'm Christian Schuh and today we are diving deeper into the AI landscape, particularly in light of recent market events and historical lessons. A couple of weeks ago, we discussed the high expectations surrounding AI in procurement. We have seen AI's potential to automate routine tasks, improve supply relationships and drive innovation. Yet, the market's reaction suggests a need for caution. The recent sell-off in tech stocks particularly in AI-heavy companies like NVIDIA, has raised concerns about whether we're witnessing another speculative bubble. Let's put this into perspective by looking at history. The excitement around AI mirrors past technological booms, such as the railway manias of the 19th century and the telecom bubble of the late 1990s. In both cases, huge investments were made with the belief that these technologies would revolutionize the world. And while they did, the path was far from smooth. Overinvestment, inflated expectations and eventual corrections define these periods. Andrew Otlitsko, a mathematics professor and expert on speculative bubbles, suggests that generative AI might be more akin to the telegraph or early electricity than to railways or the internet. The telegraph, like AI, was initially seen as a revolutionary technology. It promised to transform communication, and it did, eventually. However, the journey was marked by intense competition, price wars, and a long period before profitability was realized. Similarly, the early days of electric lighting saw a bubble of excitement around arc lighting, which like NVIDIA's AI chips today, seems to be the dominant technology. But arc lighting turned out to be too expensive and the bubble burst, leading to the rise of incandescent lighting under Thomas Edison, which in the guise of General Electric ultimately defined the future. The key takeaway here is that while AI has undeniable disruptive potential, its path to widespread profitability is uncertain. Just as the telegraph had the evolved becoming commercially viable, and just as arc lighting gave way to more practical solutions, AI may also undergo significant changes before its most impactful applications emerge. This brings us to a critical point. The investments driving AI's growth are coming predominantly from big tech companies with deep pockets. Unlike past booms, where government spending played a significant role, today's AI investments are backed by the enormous capital reserves of companies like Amazon, Microsoft and Google. This financial muscle means they are unlikely to run out of funds anytime soon. But it also means that if demand for AI products doesn't materialize quickly, these companies might scale back their investments, which could lead to a sharp correction in the market. For Nvidia, the stakes are particularly high. If tech giants reduce their spending on AI, not only would Nvidia face fewer orders, but the market could also be flooded with second-hand GPUs driving down prices and potentially leading to a significant drop in NVIDIA's stock price. So what does this mean for procurement professionals? It means we must approach AI with a clear-eyed view 
on both its potential and its risks. While AI can indeed transform procurement by automating mundane tasks and allowing teams to focus on strategic initiatives, we must remain cautious about overcommitting to unproven technologies. Roy Mara, a futurist, once said, we tend to overestimate the effect of a technology in the short run and underestimate the effect in the long run. This is particularly relevant when considering AI in procurement. We may not yet know what AI's killer app will be, just as few predicted that passenger trains would become more important than freight, or that email would be the early internet's breakthrough application. As we integrate AI into procurement, it's crucial to balance innovation with practicality. We should continue exploring AI's capabilities, but without losing sight of the need for sustainable and measurable improvements. The current market volatility serves as a reminder that while AI holds great promise, the journey will likely involve unexpected challenges and corrections. In closing, history teaches us that technological revolutions take time and are often accompanied by periods of uncertainty. As we navigate the hype and realities of AI, let's do so with a balanced perspective, one that embraces the potential of AI while remaining vigilant about the risks. Thank you for watching. I am Christian Schuh and this has been Procurement in the Park.